Hello and welcome to the five year anniversary special of RB and D Reviews. I am Rob. I'm Dave. I'm Brendan. And Brendan, welcome back to our channel. It's been too long, buddy. It's been too long. It has been. Thank you for having me back. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so basically, this is uh, this is the fifth year we've been doing movies, uh, movie reviews here on YouTube. We began back in January 14th of 2009, and the first video we did was Rock and Roller by Guy Ritchie. So today we're going to kind of go down memory lane and talk about what has changed over YouTube. Maybe we'll throw some trivia out there for you guys. And, and, you know, kind of share some memories Welcome a bit. So. the trailer for R&B Reviews. I'm Rob. I'm Brendan. And we're going to be putting together a series of YouTube movie reviews, both together and separately. We're going to watch movies that are in theater as well as on DVD. We won't read any professional movie reviews and we're beforehand, and we're going to try to form our own opinions on what we think of it, like what we liked, what we disliked. The movies that I like are mostly older films. I like... The Maltese Falcon, the film noir classic with Humphrey Bogart, as well as great comedy spoofs like Blazing Saddles by Mel Brooks. I'm more into 70s horror cult genre movies. Uh, I'm a big uh, John Carpenter fan, and uh, the movies I tend to really uh, like to watch and stuff are more crime movies or horror or comedy. Anything and everything I'll watch and Today we're going to take a look at Guy Ritchie's latest film, Rock and Rolla. And it's a very complicated plot with a lot of different characters. I don't know how well we can explain the plot to people that have no idea what it's about. I mean, I think if you walk out of it and you say, well, what do you think it was about? Everyone's going to have different ideas of the plot because there's so many plots. I just recently, since we're going on five years, I wanted to go back, look back, see some of the older videos. And it's just so much fun to like go back, look at the comments. I mean, that's that's the most entertaining part of me. Is some of our videos got like thousands of views, mm -hmm. and so some videos we weren't even trying to, like Halloween Two or Paranormal Activity. Like they're just we're just talking about movies, and the coolest part is just so many people come watch the videos. Mm -hmm. That's all we are is just fans of movies, and it's just so interesting how we get so many views on YouTube. But also then there's the psychos on YouTube that are also fun to watch in the comments. The people who are like, I will hunt you down if you don't like Rob Zombie's Halloween. Yeah. That's sort of the fun I miss that part of YouTube. I mean, yeah, the comments could be kind of mean sometimes, but it's all, it's all in the passion of film. Yeah, I mean, you, you do kind of put your risk out there by doing that. Because, I mean, we've gotten some very... I think the comments have gotten a little bit more brutal. Like, we've, like when we did Thor, somebody commented on how bad we were. Um, I remember, Dave, remember when we did our uh, review for Defiance way back when with Daniel Craig and yeah. that was when we got the, probably the worst comments ever because yeah, that one supposedly the movie was historically inaccurate and all this other stuff and we're like, look, we're just reviewing the movies, don't, don't yeah. criticize us. Yeah. We're just fans of movies, not historians. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like the guy wanted us to like look everything up before we... Uh, did the review, it's like, let's go on Wikipedia and, and find out what really happened, yeah. It's a movie review show, not a yeah. historical dissection of a yeah. movie. Yeah. Well, well, Dave, what are some, one of your favorite memories from the channel so far? Mm. Oh, I remember the time I tried doing a video myself and bombed horribly and we had to use like a ton of pictures to cover up what I was doing. Well, I think we were kind of rough at the beginning. I mean, I watched some of my videos back and I'm really stiff now. I think I'm definitely more, well, some people said I'm too energetic and too, do, do too much with my hands. I have tried to calm that down, see I'm doing yeah. that now. But I mean, yeah, I, I, if you, I've watched a lot of the early videos and I am kind of stiff. But for me, one of my favorite memories is right before summer, we always did a summer blockbuster video where we picked what we thought were the best movies. And sometimes when we did our top ten list, you're like, I was really looking for this movie and it ended up being terrible. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Welcome back to our annual blockbuster summer special. And I'm Dave. Welcome, welcome to the special. And this is sleeping ah, on the ah, job. Ah, what, what? What? Why? why We're doing you? a video. We got company. But it's so nice out. And oh, oh, I didn't even we're, see you there. recording, but... Oh, I'm sorry. Stuff down. Oh, right. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Anyway, <laughs> I am Rob, and uh, thank you very much for watching our summer blockbuster special. What we are going to do is we're each going to pick one or two movies that we're most looking forward to for oh, the summer. a strong opening scene, the movie turned into what I call a big-budget monogram feature or a big-budget Ed Wood film because it is a movie that I think... Um, is more suitable for people who like to make fun of a film while watching it. 
Um, the beginning featured some standard and repetitive battle scenes, and we get some laughable dialogue and some cliched stuff. Um, out of the actors, I kind of liked Ron Perlman the best because I found him funny and looked like, and he looked like he was really enjoying himself and sometimes he was mocking the dialogue that was given to him. Um, he also tries, I think, to make this film work. Um, Cage, I think he does a better job here than he did in last year's film, The Sorcerer's Apprentice. I didn't like it in 3D at all. I mean, it was, it was interesting how it was, but... There's like a lot of bright lights in this film, and when they come at you three-dimensionally, it just hurts your eyes. I was starting to like almost get a headache, and like I had to like blink a lot. It was really, really bothering. I think me. the problem with directors that are, have a background in visual effects, they're good with um, you know with the look of the picture, but the heart and you know. That the storyline and the acting just, I don't think it's quite up their alley. And I wanted to see this movie when it was shown on HBO and on demand earlier this year, but unfortunately I wasn't able to. But now that it is out on DVD, I, I think I can say that this is definitely one of the best films of 2010. The film stars Al Pacino as Dr. Jack Kevorkian, and I think he is very excellent here. Um, recently he's done movies like 88 Minutes and Righteous Kill, and many feel that he is washed up and that those, many call those films are te um, terrible. Uh, personally, I haven't seen those films, so I can't give a fair comment on those, but for those of you that think that Al Pacino is washed up, um, I think, for, based on this film, I think he's still like, got when it. When we first started, you know, there weren't too many movie review uh, pages. Like, there was Cool Duder um, and, and Storm Saint, but now it's like, for me, it's really, really more competitive now than it was when we first started, because now anybody can review movies, and a lot of them come and go and don't really stick around. Now we get yeah. people like the Schmoes Knows, um, our good friends Gab and Dad, and so for me, I think it's become much more competitive, and I yeah. think more people come and grow and so, don't last now. Especially now that it's like a lot, e they made it a lot easier to upload videos and whatnot, so basically anybody can do it. As long as you got a digital camera. And the ratings have changed too. The rating scales have changed, yeah. I remember the old rating scales where you could do like thumbs up and thumbs down. Well, now it's those... they, they, they do that now. It's the stars. They used to have stars. You could you, They give you like five stars yeah. and you could rate them. And then now they got rid of them with the thumbs. And on top of that, they got rid of video responses. You can't. That was our bread and butter when we were starting yeah. out. We would send video responses to other... Um, reviewers and people which could check it could check it out, but now you that was a great way to network too. You also yeah. found other channels, then other people could find your channel through the. We the used video. to get a lot more hits that way. Yeah, it's I guess it's been a more. You're right. It is more competitive because more people can do it. But what I think sets this channel apart, rewatching it, is mm. this channel is more of a, more of a show, whereas mm. other ones are more like a video blog where mm. they're just sort of talking about. Where it kind of feels like. We take the time, we sit there, we, we, we rehearse it out beforehand, figure out, we talk, usually we would go to the movies, Rob, and sit in the car and talk about it for a while, like almost doing a pre-review, and then when we got in front of the camera, we sort of like had our thoughts organized, which, as I noticed throughout the years, we got much better at that, because we were very stream of consciousness in the beginning. Yeah. But again, that's what's the part. Is this feels like more of like a show. Yeah. Especially like with the intros tailored, and then at the end of the videos, we always had like whether we... I think um, we always open it up to our viewers so they could be a part of it. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, again, at the end of the day, it's just our opinion. Yeah, it doesn't right. matter. Other people who like it and have the similar opinions can talk. Yeah, about it. Well, here, let's. Here's a piece of trivia. Speaking of views, can anybody? Does anybody remember? And even you at home um, that know our, our channel very well, what is currently our highest rated video? Is it um, Halloween review? Halloween two review? Is it our? Paranormal Activity video, or is it our review when you and I compared the 1978 Halloween with the remake? It's okay. Paranormal Activity. Dave, okay, what do you think? I think Paranormal Activity. Alright, I'm not going to ask you guys because you can't hear me anyway, but yeah, the correct answer is...